Alabama basketball team and Brandon Miller. Ah, the conversation controversy over him. Should he have been allowed to play Miller time as everyone is saying. Now let's talk about this because Brandon Miller. Let's just get the story and the facts out first. Brandon Miller, who is a top prospect in the NBA draft number three overall on most mock drafts was texted by a teammate Darius miles who texted him basically to bring him his gun Darius miles his gun at that scene Darius miles has his gun and Michael Lynn Davis actually pulls the trigger killing Jamia June Harris. Okay, so the facts are out there. Now we get to a point where we're like should Brandon Miller be charged should Brandon Miller be allowed to play obviously not if he's charged but he was never charged according to law enforcement miles texted Miller to bring him the gun to the scene he obliged and he's not been charged with any crime because quote unquote nothing we could charge Miller with so right now in terms of legal search circumstances you can't indict him you can't charge him so therefore we can't even convict him in the court of public opinion oh but that never has stopped the court of public opinion if you guys watched that game last night against South Carolina oh the boo birds were in the building now Brandon Miller is going through a lot right now because you got to think go back to those times your age where your peer pressure is at its highest you're in college as much as you're trying to show your own identity to this world we know that we are obviously always influenced by those around us. We're starting to learn who we are based on what is around us, who is around us. So in this moment, when you get that text, I want to put you guys in this position because I heard the boo birds. I know everyone is trying to convict them in the court of public opinion, but I wonder what you would do if you were in his shoes. Brandon Miller gets a text from his teammate, from his friend who asked him to bring him his gun. What would you do? Me personally, I know the first thing I'm thinking is what is going on, what is happening and why at the same time at my maturity level at that age, I'm not so certain I would ask those same questions. I don't know in the moment when someone wants their possession and their possession is a gun. If I'm going to actually pump the brakes enough to say why, how come, where are we going? What are you doing? Instead, I would say, you know what? He wants something that's his. I'm going to bring it to him, but I'm not stupid. What am I bringing him? I'm bringing him a gun. Now, are we going to the firing range? Are we going to the gun range? No. Are we going to get it inspected and cleaned? No. I'm bringing him his gun, so already I feel like I'm stepping in it, even though I know it's not me and my doing, but I am complying with it, right? I am obliging this. And that's the tough part because there feels like even though criminally there may not be anything here, just just common sense tells you this doesn't sound so good, right? This doesn't sound like this is going to end well. Why would you even keep the train rolling? But I can look back in my life numerous times where I didn't know the outcome. I expected not a good outcome, but I still went along for the ride. And Brandon Miller did. He brought that gun along for the ride. And obviously we know what happened from that situation. Sad, unreal. But you know, we have to talk about Brandon Miller in a different respect, not just, oh, he should be charged with some, like everyone else in this situation, right? Miles and Davis charged with capital murder, major. But when you talk about Brandon Miller, he's also the basketball player. The reason we're talking about him is because he scored 41 points against South Carolina in an overtime victory, right? So when you start thinking about that, wow, the ability to compartmentalize, the ability to have that level of mental toughness, knowing that the whole world is judging you, the whole world it feels like is trying to condemn you and come down on you. And you're still able to find solace on that hardwood and able to harness all of your abilities and talents and go out there and fully express them. That's commendable. That is actually commendable. The fact that this guy knows right now in court of law right now at the police precinct, I am not a suspect. However, to everyone else, not only am I a suspect, they think I'm the guy who did it or pulled the trigger or might as well pull the trigger because I was complying in this circumstance. 
And he still was able to weave and navigate and express himself in his athletic talents and ability. That's commendable, guys. Now, what is going to come from this? Is he going to have to live through this harsh judgment for the rest of his college career? For the rest of his pro career? For the rest of his life? Or are we going to actually let the facts lead us into saying, you know what? Maybe we misread this. Maybe we have been misled. Maybe we don't know everything about this. Maybe we should spare him that judgment. Because you know me, facts over feelings. Facts before feelings. And the fact of the matter is, if you're looking at Brandon Miller explicitly, he has done nothing criminally wrong as of yet, not charged. But it just feels weird, doesn't it? It just feels weird like, dude, you let another guy on your team. First of all, he has a gun. Really? Is that the smartest thing at this age? And okay, it's your, it's your, it's your legal right to have a gun and he's of age. Okay. But he wants his gun. And where did he go? Did he go to the club? Didn't he go to a bar? Didn't he go to the area where they all hang out? Why does he want his gun? Like two plus two is four in school. But I heard a lawyer tell me before he said in the court of law, Oh, two plus two is something between three and five. And if you understand what I just said there, you understand this case right now. It just seems like most of us are saying two plus two is four. What are you talking about? This dude did something misdemeanor something and everyone else is sitting there trying to like rally and rile it up to a point where there is a criminal charge, but in the court of law and in terms of the interpretation of the law as it applies to this case, Two plus two is somewhere between three and five. 